As New Jersey moves toward a vote on legalizing cannabis, which could come as early as next year, the industry continues to grow across the country, creating opportunities and challenges for civic and political leaders for sure, but also for entrepreneurs, which is what the Cannabis World Congress and Business Exposition is all about. The first thing you notice about this Cannabis Expo is that the people who are here are not necessarily the people you would expect to be here. While you might expect college students and people in tie-dyed t-shirts, the reality is that the people who are here are business people looking to get into the cannabis business. The you know, hippie smoking the cannabis joint has a certain stigma in our society and all the rest. It's just something that's been developed over time, unfortunately. But uh, certainly, uh, even the hippie smoking the joint, there's some interesting medicinal aspects to it. 29 states have medical cannabis programs, and eight of those have legalized cannabis for recreational use. Here at the Expo, vendors covering everything from growing and consumption technology to accounting and legal services were showing off their stuff. Being federally illegal, uh, there still isn't access to banking, which has massive federal regulation. And most of it has to do with the, uh, the reporting requirements related to, cannabis industry, to the cannabis industry. Uh, it's a, just a very big challenge for any type of bank to provide any access to the industry. So it's a cash business, which could mean hundreds of thousands of dollars that have to physically move around, which creates other opportunities like security which is what Hamilton-based Integrated Security and Communications provides. What's it going to mean to you uh, and your business if uh, cannabis becomes legal in New Jersey? Oh, uh, it's a, going to be a driving force. You know, that brings more industry to New Jersey. Uh, more security requirements are needed, uh, not only for design and engineering, but for installation and emergency service to secure their assets and protect their staff. Seeing as how it's still illegal in New York and New Jersey, Samples, if you were so inclined, were hard to come by. There's nothing else like it on the market. What Candidips is, is water-soluble THC and CBD pouches. Each of our tins comes with uh, 15, 10 milligram pouches. And the water-soluble technology, what that means is we're going to bypass the GI tract to get that sublingual absorption. We're going to get a better absorption rate, and you're going to feel the product in under 15 minutes. I invented a new kind of rolling papers. They're easy to roll because they're curved. Is this a particularly male-dominated business? I think especially where, you know, decades of black market has always been dominated by men. So for women, it's a lot of times very intimidating to get in the cannabis industry, but with you know organizations like Women Grow that allow us to build a network, make friends, make connections, I mean, I've, it's been a, it's hugely instrumental in my ability to get into the industry and build brand reputation. When our report continues on Monday, we'll be in Trenton, where lawmakers and others who are working to get a recreational cannabis bill passed will discuss where the effort is now and what it's going to take to get it from proposal to law. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.